the essential concept is some sort of mechanical force causes some sort of dysfunction in the brain. And that can be very, very severe. Patients who wind up in a coma or in its mildest form, it can be a concussion. So there's a very large spectrum of different types of conditions under what we call traumatic brain injury. Mildest types don't need much treatment at all. Just, just rest and let your body recover. In the most extreme cases, you need to do emergency surgery to take out a blood clot. The way I manage the most severe types of brain injury patients is pretty much the way we managed them back then. You know, the needle hasn't moved at all. If you have heart disease or diabetes, hypertension, cancer, and you're being managed the way you were in the 70s or 80s, would you think you're getting good care? It, to really move the needle and to introduce new cares to the world, you need to have interventions or treatments that stand up to field testing. Perhaps the most important is recognizing that not all severe brain injury is the same. That if two people are in the same car in the, in the same horrible accident and they're both in a coma, they may both be enrolled in the same trial to look at the same intervention, right? Well, the difference is one of them on their CAT scan may have what we call just diffuse injury. You know, it doesn't look that bad. The person sitting next to them in that car may have a huge blood clot on their brain, and that's a surgical emergency. You need to go right now. Now, those are two very different diseases, right? So why would you enroll them in the same study? And actually, the place that put traumatic brain injury research on the map and made it a respectable area of scientific study was Medical College of Virginia, right here.